Viva Brasil on Citizen TV! Yeah! This time at check in a nini! Ata na sleepers! Ata na... Yeah! Fimbo in a chapa! Hey! Fimbo in a chapa! Hey! Fimbo in a chapa! Hey! Fimbo in a chapa! Nye 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 nye! Atutaki nye nye nye! Ukileta nye nye nye! Fimbo! Na wase wakileta mabum bum bum fimbo in a chapa Ey, na wase wana penda mabum bum bum fimbo in a chapa Fimbo in a chapa Ey, fimbo in a chapa Ey, fimbo in a chapa Ah yeah, one, two, three, kila mtu Fimbo in a chapa Ey, fimbo in a chapa Yeah, fimbo in a chapa Ey, fimbo in a Nye 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 Atutaki nye 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 Ukileta nye 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 Fimbo Ey Fimbo in a chapa 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 Nye 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 Atutaki nye 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 Ukileta nye 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 Fimbo Well, a very good afternoon to you, wherever you're watching us from. I know Kigali is watching in Rwanda, Burundi, you're watching, Uganda is watching in Kampala, Tanzania, we are watching. This is Viva Brazil, and this is the final show that we have for you. Remember, we started on the 12th of July, and the final is today. A lot of interesting things are going to happen in this studio today. We've got DNA performing for us here. We've got um, CD on the social media, and I know she's going to be on my case because of the jersey I'm wearing. <laughs> I just, disclaimer, she has won 25 jerseys in this show since we started. 25 of them. So me wearing Argentina yesterday and wearing German today does not bring in whatever question she wants to bring. Now, CD, bring it on. Michael, can you film by Lekucha Pama? <laughs> anyway, we have an exciting show here. Viva Brazil is the place to be. It's a party in this studio. <laughs> and uh, we have quite a show here today. Unfortunately, it's the last show and I'm quite sad. So if I start tearing up like the Argentine players, please forgive me. But of course, welcome to Viva Brazil. We have amazing guests lined up. I've just seen um, Heshmi Wanyokavi from Nyeri County. She's just walked into our studio. We have Chef Daniel as well and a crew uh, from his office. They've come here with a huge cake which we'll be showing you in just a bit. We'll be showing you how we are going to eat it, those of us who are here in studio today. <laughs> and maybe, Mike, we can sambaza a few pieces to those who are at home as well. And Michael Kinney has a special guest uh, from Gillette who will be, he'll be introducing much later on. But, Mr. DNA, DJ Crossfit, welcome to the studio as always. Thank you, thank you. Why are you watching the matches? Should be the first. Maybe we just ambushed you when you haven't watched a single <laughs> match. <laughs> me as I was watching the game last night with your WhatsApp messages. <laughs> so yeah, my team won. I'm happy. Me on air. It's the first match he was, uh, he was watching, Jan. And uh, you're no, excused. No, no. Who, are, who are you supporting and why? Uh, from the beginning, from the jump, I've been on the Germany ship. <laughs> are, are you sure? Everybody's going to say that now, but truly I have been. Eh? Okay. Uh, I would say first from just being a young boy, watching Klinsmann as a player with the Reebok endorsements, all those kind of things really used to amaze me. So as... I watched how this came together. This was not star players from uh, from Premier League level or yes. club level, just being put together. This was a machine. Guys had gel. And uh, with uh, with Mario and that wow. goal, man, wow. was crazy. Okay, Mike, are you convinced? Does he know the Germans? Eco Google. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you know DNA well, and you know he was supporting the Germans from the beginning, send us a text, 22422. Uh, talk to us on Twitter and Facebook using the hashtag Viva Brazil and we will confirm if DNA is a bona fide German. Oh yeah. What or, you want to or Jana Fimbo Ilim Chapa Pia as the artist <laughs> who brought us that song. I hand you now back to Michael King. Let's take a look at yesterday's highlights. Actually, confession, I didn't know that song was by him. You didn't know the song was DNA's? Yes. But I'm the one who always sings here Fimbo in a Chapa. DNA letter Fimbo <laughs> Chapa Michael <laughs> King Pia now. Educate our friend here. Bye. Are you in Ashida? Now, the show starts now. A beautifully taken extra time goal by Mario Gotze helped German win the 2014 World Cup final 1 0 against Argentina at the Maracana. Argentina will be further tormented by the fact that Gonzalo Higuain and Lionel Messi both squandered chances to give the South American side a much needed World Cup title.
Elsewhere, Argentine fans were humble in defeat after their side lost by a solitary goal to Germany in the final of the FIFA World Cup. Around 70,000 Argentines travelled to Brazil for the climax of the tournament, confident of a victory against the Germans. Many did not have tickets and they braved the evening chill of the, on the Copacabana beach in Rio de Janeiro. Bernard Ndong in Rio with the details. As the remaining representative of South America, Argentinian fans thronged Rio de Janeiro, the host city for the final in their thousands. Blue and white was the predominant color almost everywhere. Fans from both sides began their journey to the stadium four hours before kickoff. Such scenes in the train had become a normal thing since the World Cup started. At the match venue, the security detail was something else. Many didn't have tickets, but some, like this Argentinian fan, were hopeful of a victory before the match. We have to be good at defense because I think that the forwards are really good and we have to be really, really organized. Those who had the match valued final tickets would be part of football history. That is the thing we own this. That's what's on us. At the Copacabana Beach, one would think you're in Argentina. It was a carnival atmosphere with Argentinians who had been taunting Brazil for their early exit, almost certain of lifting the trophy. Both sets of fans followed keenly as the clock ticked by and no goals were forthcoming. The match looked certain to head into penalties, but Mario Götze struck the winner in extra time to secure Germany's fourth title as the Mannschaft's precision outplayed the Argentinians' passion. Oh my God, this is so good! I just arrived yesterday and I came to, to just vote for our team and be here and help and support them. And now they made it through! The four stars, the four stars, they made it! It's, it's such a great honor to be here. We had a long travel. It was, uh, it was a very uh, tough match, uh, very exciting, but eventually I believe Germany was the better team. The Argentinians were inconsolable. It was a big, a big sacrifice to get to here, and it's a big pity. Um, I was going for Argentina today because Messi has been the best player in the world for a long time and I think he deserved it to silence the critics, but Germany had more today, so fair play to them. They deserve it, so let's party. The 2014 FIFA World Cup has come to a conclusion with Germany being awarded the title, being crowned the champions of the world. Attention and focus will now shift to the next World Cup, which will be held in Russia in 2018. As for the hosts, Brazil, Rio de Janeiro to be specific, will start its preparations for the 2016 Olympic Games. Reporting for Citizen Sports, I'm Bernard Ndong in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Before I take a look at the next story, you can tell I'm really hungry. I told you we've got a big cake in studio. We'll be cutting it in just a bit. Provided by Chef Daniel and the good people from the Emma Daniel Arts Training Institute. I hope I've said that right. Edati, I will be having them on in just a bit. And also, if you know whether DNA is a true Germany fan or not, talk to us. You can use his hashtag. He says he's now called at Buana DNA on Twitter or Buana DNA on Facebook. So let us know your thoughts regarding all that. But for now, Kenyans congregated in homes, hotels, and nightclubs last night to witness the KG World Cup final last night, pitting Germany versus Argentina. Soccer City at the clubhouse was not left behind as revelers flocked there to witness a European team win the World Cup on South American soil for the first time ever. For German fans, it was time well spent as they got to witness the Mannschaft lift the trophy for the first time since 1990. But for fans of Lionel Messi and the Argentines, it was an unhappy ending as the World Cup trophy drought continues since 1986 when Diego Maradona was the name on everyone's lips. I'm married to a German, so it's Germany all the way. It's me and my family. My Argentina gonna win today. And I hope Argentina gonna win. Go Argentina!
Bwana director is asking uyo sasa si umalize hiyo swali yako to will answer you <laughs> fans were out there to enjoy their teams and then um, other than football it's it's a place to mingle socialize get to know people so roba tukupeleka huko si ogope well in studio with me i've got two lovely ladies with me madam uh, priscilla nyokabi who is a uh, women rep from uh, nyeri and nominated as senator beatrice elachi karibuni siju kama mnaona mpira Mimi naona. Wewe unaona mpira sana? Eh. Niambie kwanza timu yako ilikuwa gani? Argentina. Wow. Mm. How does it feel? And I was hoping for the penalties. So I'm a very sad person. Why penalties? Penalty tungeshinda. I was sure. Tuko wengi usiogope. Mm. CD will not give me the last of it and I blame CD for that loss. Mm. Unaona jersey ameva? Ni kweli. Argentina every time she wore a team's jersey. Mm. That team lost. Oh, she wasn't a real fan? No. Oh. Every time she wore that jersey the team lost hakuna hata siku moja ameva she's the cast behind brazil kufungwa <laughs> she's the cast behind netherlands pana <laughs> brazil walikuwa na shida zao who you do ndio mwenyewe but is which is your team um, at first is the bike at first my yes uh, my team were all from the south uh -huh. reasons was uh, we always say africans but uh, the south mm. americans are mm. ours mm. how to the export huko yeah to the mm. export mm. wengi huko Then uh, my daughters yes all were Germans from the beginning wow they kept on reminding me you will cry but then yesterday yes. I, I we were with some nyamwa so i told him today i'm 50 50 i'm <laughs> german because of my daughters but i'm still brazil because of south south cooperation mm. okay that was the next question i was going to ask because i was going to ask born like story kisemekana kuna watu wanakunywa mahali mm. county afana ni shida ni mambo ya kukosa recreation mm. and that's why i support football a lot if all our young people are playing or even the older men kila sunday afternoon instead of uh, going to the pub we yes. go to the field i think that would be very useful what lessons have you picked from the world cup uh, one i think the african teams need to improve it was disastrous watching cameroon and the bad tabia huko i mean walitoaibisha sana bwana mpaka wanapigana wenyewe kwa wenyewe lazima ukinikasirisha na kuchapa hapana hapana hiyo ni tabia mbaya na huko kwa world screen si ndio alafu teams is improved black stars wangeendelea vizuri i think the african teams now next time we need to be committed na kenya yetu hii jamii tuache kucheza na football na tuache siasa kwa mpira tucheze mpira properly wewe ndio unaweza tusaidia maana huko bunge Every mheshimiwa ule amekuja hapa na muuliza mswada gani tunapeleka bunge to improve our football forget about sports we've mm. got a budget for sports yes, yes. Mm. but football is mm. the people's game mm. we must treat football separate from mm. the rest of the sports not that they're not important they are that's important true. yes but mm. if there's one thing that can unite us all of us is that football nini ni tunafanya i think in the next uh, season we want to see harambee stars play better But even more important you need to go back like 10 years ni kama Manchester United if you want to yeah. improve a team unaanzia academy yes sasa hii watu washazeeka pengine washashinda na mpira so we need to go back to the school and uh, bring up a team up to we now don't see the next world cup we can plan for the after qatar yes hiyo ingine uh, qatar ni mbali german umetengeneza 10 years please mm. ask you this question mm. your girls i'm sure they told you where german started 10 yeah. years ago mm. the team was whipped properly yeah. wakamua let's go back to the academies mm. let's bring up fresh players mario gotza who scored is a product mm. of that development from under 8 yeah. kina mezut ozil and all that mm. kenya yetu jameni nini natusumbua tuwezi fanya hizi me i think uh, the boys are ready the problem the boys face is that uh, the politics in football and the money issue that everyone wants to just see what goes in their pocket so even if we do a loop we must deal with the brokers in football brokers brokers ama ah, ah, broker dawa yao ni nini dawa yao ni moja tu unakuja unaleta a policy that is very clear mm. and you ensure you have an academy that is uh, like in Unwasingishu where yes. the, you see the attitude in Unwasingishu yes mm. if boys can train from that place I believe the World Cup closing ceremony took place last night kicking off at 8:20 p.m. Kenya time at the Maracanã Stadium in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It was meant to be an answer to the question of what happened to the poorly organized opening ceremony and even though the stars were of high repute nevertheless the sound quality for those watching at home still left a lot to be desired.
Right, Bwana Director, before we take a look at the next story, I think there's an SMS here I should read. And I'd like you to have someone focus on CD as I read this SMS. Because CD has been very dangerous. She reads any SMS. She doesn't censor them. So this one is directed straight at her. And this one comes from Chris in Kisumu. He says, Viva Brazil. I have been watching Viva Brazil since. Not because I like football, Sana, but because of CD. Truly speaking, I'm dying for you, CD. And I will not be like James Blunt, who admires a beautiful girl on a subway but does nothing because I know why Higa is there and he will hook me up without failure. Otherwise, he will have no choice but to surrender his Netherlands jersey, the jersey I have on Chris from Kisumu. Uh, Mike, has his prayer been heard? Uh, Director Mesema, to pay any CD. To pay any final CD. show. Akuna show ingine. Kama jazi vile tunapeana, sidi ya peana. Tupeana sidi. Wala kani get at the game. Aya fubida. Kini na mwisho ni garama. Hii. Anaita sidi sidi garama. Sidi garama mganga. Sasa garama ya mganga kama utaweza. Aya. So after the show, I think at about 2.30, CD will be at the gate in a box with a ribbon all packed up for you, Chris from Kisumu. We move on now. And the Germans were not the only ones who walked away with silverware last night at the Maracanã Stadium as the golden ball, golden boot and golden gloves were also handed out to a chosen few. Well, it's very interesting when you have um, uh, ladies in the studio. They observe and notice things that, as men, we don't even see. Madam Priscilla, um, Beatrice, beg your pardon. What was that that you mentioned about the president? That I said it's most interesting. The two countries have women, female president. It's a very interesting. Thing. And Brazil as well. Brazil and Argentina. Mm. And Germany. And Germany. Mm. Angela Merkel, but she never smiles. Yeah, it's not important. He won. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> the team won. Will we ever get to that level as Kenyans? But yes. you stood up and really applauded. And hugged the players. Beatrice, my question is, will you ever get there as Kenyans to, to, to elect a woman yeah, as a president? If you think you're a politician, you will get there. Mm. Yeah, I believe mm. so. Mm. Even when you look at the years when uh, we had Thatcher, and then look at the years after Thatcher, then these women come in. I believe after 20, another 15, 20 years, Kenyans will have one. And Africa is already there anyway. We have Liberia. Uh -huh. is, is, is this a way we need to go? Do we need to get women to lead our football? Because so. anything that the women have started, especially in this country, in Kenya, it turns out to be gold. I think we need to have a KFF chair who's a woman. I remember one time we almost sued the board. It was all male. And you know, play is not just footwork. It's also a lot of uh, team management and team preparation. So we think that women will do better. And women are naturals. Actually, maybe that's one way to start. We need uh, more women in KFF. Then maybe our football would shape up. And women are not corrupt. Do you agree with her? I agree. And I look at Burundi. We have a lady who's doing mm -hmm. very well yes. in their football. And uh, Actually, she has she moved the academies now to a, a different level. She was, she was the idea behind the FIFA goal project of 2010 because she went and said, mm -hmm. we need to start academies and give the Africans something that they can appreciate in terms of the World Cup legacy. And that's where the um, uh, FIFA 2010 legacy program started. Mm, yeah. They said a um, uh, goal project in each of the 52 countries in Africa. Mm. They give you an artificial turf, they mm. give you an academy where you can sleep there yeah. and everything else. But, madam, yetu mm. imelala uko kasarani. Hata ijulikani, kuleka bunge tafadhali. Mkweli. Ijulikani, miasi memea. Na sisi wote tuko members wa bunge FC, yes. so I think tuta, tuta peleka. I didn't see the last time we played bunge FC as media. Uh, I'm in the cheering squad. I'm <laughs> the che <laughs> Another interesting story from last night's match, and there was an interesting contrast at the end of the World Cup final when Germany players were celebrating with their wives and girlfriends, also known as WAGs, but there were no female companions to support the Argentines. It was not easy for the German wives and girlfriends to access the pitch, but they pushed their way past security until they accessed the world champions. One would have expected the comforting presence of the Argentina wives and girlfriends around, but they were nowhere to be seen. And the runners-up had to lean on each other and technical staff for comfort. So what is the rightful position? Were the ladies supposed to come and support the Argentines at that time, or should men be left 
to mourn or grieve alone. Let us know your thoughts. 22422, hashtag Brazil on Facebook and Twitter. The good thing is we have a gender-sensitive group in studio today and hopefully Mike can get the views of them. Heshinu is here, here with us. What should the Argentine ladies have been doing at that time? But on to another story now. And police in Rio de Janeiro used tear gas to disperse a small group of protesters who tried to push past a blockade before the World Cup final yesterday. The confrontation took place near the Maracanã Stadium about an hour before Argentina played Germany. Fans inside the stadium seemed unaware of this particular protest. Meanwhile, further afield, Argentina fans were arrested as violent riots erupted in Buenos Aires after the World Cup final defeat to Germany. Emotions were running high in Buenos Aires as Argentina fans uh, fought amongst themselves and started riots after their team lost the World Cup final. After the game, fans wearing the Argentina strip turned on each other in scenes of violence. There is that scene from Buenos Aires in Argentina. Well, I've just looked at that clip and there's a similarity between what was happening in Argentina last night and what was happening at Nyayo Stadium yesterday afternoon. Mwajimiwa, AFC Leopards jana wamecheza. Wakafungwa na Madhari United. Tumekula tear gas. Proper. Wanasema mashabi kindu wanaumia. Their team is not performing well. Tumekula tear gas. Uku Argentina, watu wamekula tear gas. Is it... A relationship between football fans and tear gas. It's football and hooliganism that goes <laughs> together, and the emotions that come with it, and testosterone as well. Uh, but I think that uh, the police are doing a good job. Always, when there's football, there is expected to be this uh, kind of incidents. Uh, the worst is when they get out of hand. But if you've got enough number of police to deal with the crowd, and which is where Kenya doesn't get it right, we have far too few police officers for very huge crowds. But they are, they are. There are UN standards on these things. Football is a FIFA, you know, international and all that. Beatrice, you were home with your girls yesterday. What should the women do? What are, what are the Argentina players, wives and girls, what are they supposed to do? Well, in Europe, I believe they will be together, consoling each other. Mm. But in Africa, women will just say, "You will come here, So, we have, we have different emotions. Actually, we're given a challenge to bring around the stars here with their girlfriends and their wives. I don't know if that's a good idea. I think that would be a good idea. See, it's a we, culture then, thing. Then we can see, because in culture-wise, Africa side will say, "Ah, you will come here, you are a woman." But in Argentina, I believe they needed their wives. In Africa, we don't even cry. No. Tuna tume kausha uso tu. Mm. Mm. fight. <laughs> Why here? Right. I, I, wow. Okay. I, I like the sentiments expressed right there. But but remember when when God lost the cup so close, Ramasalim and many others were crying. So maybe I think there are exceptions. Tulilia ah, Michael Kinya Lilia. Ah, yeah, yeah, there yeah, we yeah. go. Right. Now remember, of course, last night we had the World Cup closing ceremony. And today we have the Viva Brazil closing ceremony. You tell us what your thoughts are on this. We have DNA in studio. He's just about to perform and take us into the break. Mm -hmm. And after the break, we're going to be taking a look at behind the scenes. The ladies and gentlemen that were part of making this show a huge success. I can also see Chef Daniel has sat down. It's his cooling break. He's resting because he knows soon and very soon he's going to be cutting a fantastic cake here for us in studio. But for now, Buena DNA, take it away. Hey, hey, showtime, what you want to say, man? My tracks, do you think? Can Jersey City help us say my Doombala, Doombala? Hey, wanna say my Doomba, Kumbe ni Jasho, say my hey. Wanna say my Doomba, Kumbe ni Jasho, say my Doombala, Doombala. Yeah, Viva Brazil, wanna be in that new number. J A J A J A S H. Mad tracks, DJ Nick, Ken Rezi, Sita Hapa, Sema, Dumbala, Dumbala, yeah, living in the sky, hey, do we tell day, hey, yeah, Dumbala, hey, 
Wanasema dumba kumbe ni jasho sema hey Wanasema dumba kumbe ni jasho sema yeah hey 10 plus 11 yeah hey man 11 yeah Oh, kwa hitu ni ya barini, there was born a young king, born a DNA Umse ni mkale, umse halale Too big to act small, hakuna dumba, hakuna Living in the sky, don't care what they say Ah uh, yeah, ah uh, yeah, ah uh, yeah Dumbala, dumbala Wanasema dumba, kumbe ni jasho, sema ey Wanna say my dumba, come in the jasho, say my.